Nintendo recently released some new screens of Kirby's first game on the 3DS, Kirby Triple Deluxe, so what better time to power up the old analysis machine to see what secrets we can find hidden in them. However, this is also a perfect time to highlight some of your ideas and theories based on our original analysis of the premiere trailer. And please be sure to watch that analysis as we'll be referring back to it in this one. With all that said, let's get started. One of the new pictures shows Kirby facing off against a giant mole, but there are several interesting things to take note here. First of all is Kirby himself. He's glowing in a rainbow pattern just like he was before when sucking up the tree during the trailer. This likely means that it's the same ability. What's even more intriguing is the fact that the giant mole has no life meter. Usually enemies that size are considered mini bosses or even bosses. So is this guy just a regular enemy? We think that's the case since this would match up with how the super abilities worked in Return to Dreamland. In that game, whenever you gained a super ability, you would go through a section specifically designed for that power. Perhaps in Triple Deluxe, the same thing will happen when Kirby becomes a rainbow and can suck up giant objects, including supersized enemies. Two other screenshots reveal exactly what the lower screen will look like during gameplay. Across the top is the standard HUD information, including Kirby's lives, how many stars he's collected, and how many of the collectible items he's found in that level. What's most interesting though is the medicine bottle in the center. As Kirby fans will know, this item refills a small portion of Kirby's health. Does this mean that the game will be slightly more challenging since you have the option to store health items to use whenever you want? And does this mean that Kirby can hold on to other health items? items like the Maxim Tomato. Is this limited to only items, or can abilities be stored here too? Well, we believe we have an answer to that. As many of you pointed out in our previous analysis, we failed to note the chest that could be spotted in the cave area of the trailer. The only times this appeared before was during the Great Cave Offensive of Kirby Superstar and in Kirby Squeak Squad. In both of those games, treasures and unlockables could be found within. Perhaps in Triple Deluxe, this is where items are found and then stored for later use. Or it could be like in past games and they hold special unlockables. The last thing to note on the bottom screen are the two tabs. The one on the left shows the Warp Star, and the one on the right shows Kirby himself. We believe we know what the Warp Star tab does though, since in another shot of the lower screen, we see it's grayed out. More than likely, this is an option to immediately leave the stage. However, like Mario games, you have to beat that stage once to actually use this option. The screen with the grayed out tab also shows that three of the collectibles are still missing in the level. This means that there were only two to find in the former. It's a good way to keep track of just how many you need to find. But what about the tab with Kirby on it. What could it possibly do? Well, we think it's a status screen for Kirby. Maybe it shows all the powers he's found, or it could even be a way to switch between characters. The final new screen is notable for showing just how many layers a level could possibly have. In this one, we see four separate planes, including the one Kirby is currently on. And all the way in the back is the very visible exit of the level. It shows just how much depth will be in the game and could show that Kirby won't always be traveling right in Triple Deluxe. But of course, that's not all. You guys have plenty of ideas and corrections of your own. For example, Sam Rikus and many others pointed out that the enemy we labeled as Needless is actually Chip from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And Sweep Talk, among others, clarified that the cannons weren't Blatzies, but Shotzos. Leandre MC also noted something interesting about the Waddle Dee Railroad level shown. Some of the rock formations in the background are shaped just like carrots. He suggests that it could be called Carrot Canyon, which would match the naming scheme of past Kirby worlds. But most interesting of all is Whirlboom 94's observation. There were two kinds of warp stars in the trailer. The one with the red center reappears shortly after using it, theoretically allowing you to travel backwards. But the one with the yellow center never reappears, meaning you can never backtrack after using it. Okay, we're almost done here, but there are still a few small details worth pointing out, namely the Japanese cover art. What immediately stands out is that Kirby has his angry face in this picture, something that almost never happens for the Japanese artwork. Traditionally, Kirby is always portrayed as smiling and cute, while his American box art is angry and determined. Why the change for Triple Deluxe? The cover also shows some details on the levels that can be found in the game, with grasslands, canyons, and the beanstalk all being represented. But the beanstalk leads upwards to even more levels, ones that have houses on them and something that looks like carved statues. There's also a castle directly behind Sir Kibble. Could this mean that King Dedede will return in a more antagonistic role? Finally, there's the mysterious figure in red on the beanstalk. He seems to be a clown wearing a red hat, but who is he exactly? Is it just a new enemy? Or perhaps the person that Kirby has to help this time around? We're not exactly sure. And with that, we've covered everything from the new screenshots as well as your ideas. If you like this analysis, please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching, be sure to stay tuned as we cover more on Kirby and other things gaming too.